Hey, welcome back. You're watching What's the Deal on Newsmax TV. It's Sunday, and it's alternative NFL programming. If you want to know the deal, you're tuned into the right place. What's the deal? And uh, we got the guy who knows the deal on many things joining us today. It's Eric Metaxas. Eric hosts a radio show right here at AM 970, The Answer in New York City. Um, and you're also the author of a uh, disguised children's book, Donald Drains the Swamp. Do I hold it up for the cameras? Yeah. Okay, it's, uh, l- let me tell you, uh, this is, it really hold- is it really is a children's book. But when I first wrote it, I thought it's going to be one of those children. People don't know this about me. I've written 30 children's books over the years, right? And uh, every time you write a children's book, if it's really good, adults love it too. I mean, if you have to read it to your kid, you want to find it funny, right? Okay. So the best stuff is stuff that adults get a chuckle that the kids, the three-year-old's not going to get it, but he'll get it when he's older. It's like when we used to watch Bugs Bunny cartoons and he would imitate Humphrey Bogart. You know, you wouldn't know when you're eight years old who he's imitating or whatever it is. So this book has a lot of political humor in it, but it is a kid's book. It's a simple story about a caveman named Donald who drains the swamp. He goes up against the big swamp creatures. The biggest, baddest swamp creature is a dinosaur called the George Osaurus. Some, some adults <laughs> right, so may find that a, funny. Uh, right. I, One of the reasons that I want to promote this book, okay, is because Stephen Colbert has a quote-unquote kids' book out there, okay? It's nasty, anti-Trump political humor. It's not, not a kids' book, but it looks like a kids' book. You're seeing this more and more. Like, as a joke, people put this stuff out there. Now, this is a gag gift for adults, but if you give it to a kid, it's still a kids' book. There's Got nothing it. nasty in here. Uh, but the Colbert stuff... A lot of the anti-Trump stuff, I don't need to tell you, it's nasty, it's vicious. They have lost the ability to be lighthearted about things. Uh, I wanted to do something that is fun, that celebrates the president, celebrates what's going on. But even if you give it to a friend who doesn't love the president, they won't be offended. It's not nasty. Even they will probably laugh at it. As far as I'm concerned, I used to think Stephen Colbert was a great talent. Yeah, we, we all did. used to watch him on the, on the Daily Show, right. and he used to play this character, and it was really clever. Even though I didn't agree with the subject, the yeah. political yeah. views, I agreed and understood their creativity and the way they were using satire yeah. to kind of get right. their point across. I think he sold out people that respected his creativity because ever since he's been on CBS, yeah. he needs ratings, and he's so over the top that it's not even funny anymore. Well, look, let's cut to the chase. It's shameful and it's un-American. It's, it's, it is American to disagree. It is American to say, this president, I'm not his biggest fan. Here's where I differ. That's American. But when you go so low that you don't want kids to watch it. I mean, I have to say, it, the reason I did this book is I said that we who are conservatives... We need to do stuff that's fun, that's maybe making fun of the other side, but that does it in a way that's respectful. We don't go low. Yeah, when you say fun, you mean like um, former Attorney General Eric Holder says, when they go low, yeah. we, we kick them. We kick them. Isn't so that sweet? So that's kind of what we're hearing in our yeah. public discourse right now. The former AG is saying when they go low, they're down, kick them. Yeah. You know, which is kind of like one of the things you teach your sons um, in a regular street yeah. Fight. Once yeah. the guy's down, don't kick him while he's down. Right. You know what I mean? That's right. like one of the, it's like at the end of a right. football game, you scrapped it out with the guy, you put your finger up his nose, he spit on you, but at the end of the game, they take their helmets off and they walk down and they shake hands. I, and that's what kids need to learn, and that's what people need to learn. That at the end of all days, if we're ever gonna change the political discourse, that's right. You gotta say things that are you could say things that are biting, but if you keep in mind, you know what, I'm gonna shake hands with this guy. I'm going to see him at another fundraiser. I'm going to have to reach across the aisle for him on a bill that I need one or two Democrats with me. If you keep that in mind, maybe we could change. Well, see, this is not happening. But that's the American way. And if if right now the GOP is the only pro-American party, so be it. I think the people in America, when they see the other side go so low, they're going to back off. They're going to they're going to lose election after election until they learn this is not acceptable. You have to appeal to the people. If you can't make your case in the right way, people are going to turn away. You think mobs and screaming and bullying is going to work well? You try it for a while, but in America, that's not going to work. Trump's so good at the tagline, right? He says, you know, uh, Democrats make mobs, Republican makes jobs. Oh, he just comes my up gosh. with these things yes. like boom. Exactly. Um, Eric, uh, tell us where we can find the book. 
Um, well, you could find the book anywhere except in bookstores that hide it because it's a pro-Trump book. So I want people <laughs> to go into bookstores. Obviously, get it online, ericmetaxas.com. But if you go into a bookstore and you don't see this book, please find somebody and say, why don't you have this book out? It was in the Amazon Top 100. It's doing really well. I saw it on TV because I was on the Huckabee Show. I've been on Fox News. The fact that they're hiding it, that also tells you something about what's going on in America. Not a good thing. We do a little magic trick. You go to ericmetaxas.com. You can find Donald Drains the Swamp. Eric, thanks for giving us a few minutes. Thank you. We'll see you back right here on What's the Deal.